Hi, and thanks for joining me today for this full body, all standing weight training workout using just one dumbbell. I'm using eight pounds today. So a medium to heavy weight, just start lighter if you're starting out um, and you can always work your way up. We will do each exercise for one minute and then have a 15 second rest in between where I will demonstrate the next move. We will also start with a, a nice dynamic warm up and finish with some stretching as well. We've got a one minute timer, so you go at your own pace. We have a lot of compound moves and we also osteoporosis modifications. So something for everybody. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. Feet are underneath those hips. Roll the shoulders down and back. Pull the belly button into the spine. Big arm circles all the way up and back. We're gonna pack a lot in. To a shorter workout and reverse. Let's add an alternating knee. So one knee comes up and then take the arms forward, other knee comes up. A little balance challenge. Stand nice and tall. You got it. Last one. Excellent. Widen that stance again. Right hand comes behind the head. Left arm reaches up and over. First osteoporosis modification is you're not bending at the waist. You're just reaching straight up and down. So look for the little boxes. There's just a few modifications throughout the whole workout. Do one more big stretch reach over and reach down other side big reach over and down. let's do one more lower that other arm Big hip circles here, so left leg, we take it out and around. Bring the knee up in front and around. Big, big circles here. Now let's reverse it back to front. It's a balance challenge as well. You can always hold on to a chair or a wall. Excellent, other side up and around. Stand tall. Core engaged helps with that balance. Warming up those hips and glutes. And reverse. Last one. Shake that out. Take the feet underneath those hips. Let's sit back with a squat. Weight in the heels. Hips come back. Stand up. Squeeze your glutes behind you. Down and left. Stick the hips back, bring them forward. One more like this. Nice job, take those feet nice and wide. Toes are coming to the corners. And we're just doing a little side lunge here, side to side. Adding an arm swing up and down. going as far as your knees will allow and then your knee is in line with your ankle. A few more like this. And then let's turn to the side, come up on that back toe and we're going to reach forward and back, forward and back. As we reach forward, the heel comes off the floor. Then we press it down, reach. And reach. Last two. And one. Let's circle that arm around. Come back to our side lunge. Swing the arms. We'll do the other side. Then we'll get started with our first exercise. Hopefully you're nice and warm. All right. Turning to the other side. 
onto that toe, then press the heel back. Three, four, and three, two, last one. Shake it out, grab your weight. I will demonstrate the first move before we start our timer. So coming back to that position we were just in for our warm up. Your toes are facing forward, nice wide stance, holding the weight in both hands. Hips come back, weight in that heel. We shift down, pop up, and the weight comes from one shoulder to the other shoulder. Other side, down, press it up, shoulder to shoulder. All right, let's start that timer. Hold the weight at your chest. Here we go, big lunge down. Press it up, up and over. So we're just alternating sides here. Big lunge, press it up. Down. Spine stays straight, and we're shifting those hips back. Nice, halfway through. I want you to really be feeling this in your glutes. Make sure you're breathing. Nice, shake it out. Okay, next move, we're coming feet underneath the hips, hinging forward to a row, bringing the weight to the belly button. We stand up and then do a front raise. Shoulders down and back. Here we go. Hinge forward, pull the weight to the belly button, stand up, front raise. I'll give you another view. Down, elbows back, stand up tall, front raise. that belly button engaged. You just have a little bend in your knees as you hinge forward again, flat back. Really squeeze those elbows back for that double row. Here we go. Squeeze it back. Okay, next move, we're gonna change our weight, our grip here to like a goblet. Two side steps with little baby squats or bends, and then we twist and punch. Same thing, the other side. So join me here. Osteoporosis modification here in the box, check it out. You're just punching that arm forward instead of the twist. You guys, you do you. Make the routines your own what's best for you and your body. The further down you bend, the more you work in those legs. And if you're able to, get a nice full twist in there. pace. Okay, that went by quick. Let's put the weight in your left hand. Next move, bicep curl. We're going to go shoulder, swing it down to the other shoulder, and then one overhead press. Full minute, all on this side. And then we'll switch it to the other side. Again, slow and controlled. Getting a really nice rotation here. 
tap the one shoulder, tap the other, press it up and down. Check in with that posture, belly buttons in. We have a little bend in our knees. Shoulders are down and back. That's getting warm. Stay with me. Swing it, tap. And tap. Lift. Nice job, I know you felt that one. Same thing, other side. Switch that weight into your right hand. Shake it out. And then we'll tap our left shoulder first. Swing down and out to the right. Press it up and lower. there again slow and controlled this one we get to cheat and use a little bit of momentum with that swing nice job guys stay with me we're almost there finish that one up there. Okay, holding the weight at our waist, working the abs and the outside of the leg. We're gonna twist in, extend the leg with a leg left. Check out the modification box. You're not gonna do the twist if it's not healthy for your spine. And left. So we twist and left. This is another one we've got a whole minute on each side. Stand up really tall. That helps with the balance. You could always lose the side leg lift if it's too much and it's not coming very high. Crunch and twist. Pull that navel in. Excellent. Shake it out. Same thing, other side. Holding the weight at our waist. Left leg extends. Twist in. And little left. your imagination if the second side feels harder right because we were just working the other leg now it's the supporting leg take a break if you need to shake it out we're halfway there few more guys you're doing so good Woo! shake it out okay coming to a nice wide position here for a sumo squat so legs are wider than the shoulders toes to the corners keeping the knees wide we bend down just as much as you're comfortable with a high pull up so down I'm hinging forward at the hips but the spine is still straight, so we're not rounding that spine at all. And pull it up. This one we switch halfway through. 
as you bend down, keep the weight in the heels of your feet. And then again, knees are pressed out to the side. And switch. High pull. Elbow comes back, squeeze those upper back muscles. Beautiful job. Let's take the weight in the right hand. Feet underneath our hips again. So what we're gonna do is a little palm up, cross it low, pull elbow back, cross it medium, pull it back, high, pull it back. So low, medium, high, then we switch. Low, medium, pull it back, high, pull it back and switch. This is great for the front of the shoulder, the deltoid, and because we're pulling that elbow back, we're working the back muscles as well. Sexy shoulders here. Forward, pull it back, and switch. Cross. I know that high one's tough. Just go as high as you comfortably can. Pull it back, medium, high, and rest. Good job. All right, coming into a staggered stance, one foot in front of the other, and the wider your legs are, the more stable you will be. We are going to bend both knees, squatting down, coming up on that left, your right toe, and then we come down, straight back, with a bicep curl. Turn the side so you can see. We bend down just as much as you comfortably can. Then we lean forward with a bicep curl. Okay, and bend. Push up through that front heel. We hinge forward straight back. Bicep curl. Where I want you to feel this bend is that front leg in the glute. So our legs aren't moving at all. We stay up on that back toe. And forward. And bicep curl. Let's get one more in. Okay, almost there. Same thing, other side. Make sure you switch your feet. Up on that back toe. We bend down. Hinge forward. Bicep curl. And bend. Hinge belly button in, straight spine. Shoulders always stay down and back. Great job, guys. You're bending a little bit or a lot here. Listen to your body. Shoulders back forward. Bicep curl. And down. Push it up. Hinge forward. And I'll finish that last bicep curl. Excellent, one more move, one more minute before we get to stretch. We are coming to a small squat. We row, hold that row, kick back, come forward, switch the weight. We come down, lift it up, elbow high, tricep kick back, come up, switch the weight. Once you get your little cadence in here, 
it's not so tough. Row, kick back, we switch, come down, pull it up, kick it back, switch forward and back. Let's protect our lower back, belly button into the spine. I might break a sweat with this last one. Beautiful job. Put that weight down. Shake it out. And let's do a few stretches. Feet nice and wide. Just take those arms crisscross, opening that chest up. Nice deep breaths. God, give me four. Three, two, and one. Reach those arms forward, squat back, really lengthen that spine, reach towards me, and then drop the hands on top of the legs. And think about just lengthening the spine, like you're pulling your neck away from all the way bottom of that tailbone. Inhale, exhale, come on up. Roll the shoulders down and back. Let's do that again. We squat back, reach, reach, reach towards me. Then the hands come to the thighs. Just gaze a couple feet in front of you. Again, just think about lengthening. Shoulders down and back. Inhale. Exhale. Come on back up. Flex the hands towards me. Fingers to the floor, elbows straight. Let's take it out to the side. Hold that there. Inhale. Exhale all the way behind. Clasp the fingers if you can. All the way behind the back. Open up that chest. Good. Continue nice deep breaths. Try to relax those shoulders. Gently lift up if you can. And shake it out. Bring the right arm out to the side. Let's hug it in close. A beautiful stretch in that shoulder. We worked hard today. Release the right arm down, up, and around. And then give me a little tricep stretch up here, holding it with the other hand. And release it down, other side. Arm comes out. Hug it in nice and close. Down, back, and around, all the way up. Walking those fingers down the spine, elbow to the ceiling. And release it. Flex that right foot in front toe to the ceiling. Sit back in those hips. I want you to feel a beautiful stretch in the back of that leg and that hamstring. Again, a nice proud chest, flat back. We hold it here, big inhale. And exhale. Bring the right leg in. Put the feet together. I want you to bend the knees and then stick that hip out to the side. I call this the sassy girl stretch. All right, get that hip out. Really want you to feel a stretch in there. Maybe give a little wiggle to get in there. I know it looks funny, but it feels good. Other side. Left foot. Flex the foot. Heel on the floor. Toe to the ceiling. Hinging forward. Bend the other knee. Straight spine, shoulders down and back. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Come on up. Place those feet together again. Bend the knees. This time stick that left hip out. Good. Give a little rub if you need to. And then just a little bit side to side. Again, loosening up those hips. Widen those feet one more time. Big inhale. And exhale down. Thanks for working out with me today. Please give this a like. Share with your friends if you liked it. Really helps grow my channel. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. Bye. We'll see you next time.